Hello viewers, have a good day. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create shape file that is point, line, polygon shape file in Google Earth image. And how we can export point, line, polygon from Google Earth image to ArcGIS as well as the QGIS. So let's start. So at first open your Google uh, Earth and simply write your location. That means in which, uh, which part of your area that you want to digitize or you can say create shape file. So here I want to write and after the and search it here. I want to zoom it okay so within this Google Earth if we click on this show slider you can see several parameter within this layer so here I want to check the place okay so all places will come within this uh, Google Earth image okay and if you want to roads photos 3d building etc you can check from here so I want to check only this uh, point only okay places only so you can also hide this by clicking here okay so uh, we want to create point line polygon line as well as uh, the shape file also that means polygon so we can do directly from here okay you can see here add place mark that means the point feature then the add polygon that means uh, by using the uh, this tool we can uh, digitize uh, or you can say create shape file polygon and this is the line feature only add path okay but we want to do in a systematic manner okay and within uh, we want to create a folder and within, within that folder we'll do we'll save all point line as well as the polygon feature okay so you can see the layer portion okay within this place you can see here my places simply click on this my places click right click okay and go to add and navigate within this the folder option click this folder so here you can save one folder so I want to create a folder name as uh, you can say the Google study area okay so this is my folder name click on ok so you can see here google study area one folder added in this places okay and after that you just click here and simply click right click on, on that and if you go add within this google study area you can see here path polygon place mark okay so this path polygon and pol uh, the place mark also you can see here within the shortcut menu okay symbol is image this is the place mark polygon and the add path so I want to go with this uh, folder option for the systematic uh, you can say the uh, way to digitize this Google Earth image so go to add and click on first the, uh, the place mark because uh, at first I want to take some point feature okay and to take some point feature from this Google Earth so you can see here uh, one uh, the uh, the yellow color point actually beeping here so I can easily uh, take from any place okay so at first I want to zoom this map also by using your cursor okay the and I want to give this within this Thakur Panchanan Burma University okay so I want to give this here so you can see here this place mark already uh, exactly I have uh, you can say the demarcated so now you can see here the name so here I can easily write Kojbihar Panchanan Burma University okay and I can also give it a capital letter okay then you can go the style and color so label color and style also change from here 
okay and you can do if you want to change this uh, point feature so I'm uh, it's okay then simply click on ok so you can see here one point already added and also that point also you can see here within this Google study area folder okay so now I want to take second point so you can see here this is our medical college okay so I can also demarcate this by clicking here go to add and go to the place mark okay simply take this and okay so this is the Kojibar Medical College so I simply uh, give the name as CBMC okay and click on okay so second point also I am I successfully I put here and I may give other point also just to give the it's okay this two point is enough for the uh, this state real and you can do by this way as much as uh, point is you required okay so at first I, I have successfully taken the point feature now I'll take the line feature so line feature means the linear feature I want I may digitize here the road okay so you can see easily this is the uh, the whitish color is the road these are also road these are also road so I want to digitize this uh, road layer so go to again the google study area click right click add and simply click here path okay simply click here path for the digitization of the uh, the line feature or you can say the road layer okay so you can uh, keep here also this one and i want to start digitization from here okay so you can simply easily uh, you can say digitize this one by zoom in and zoom out you can do so this is straight almost okay so I need to take this point only okay so after then you can give the name of that path so I can give uh, Kuj Bihar Panjanan Burma University you can say main road okay and now you can click on style and color so you can change the color so i have to give as a red color okay as well as i as well as i want to increase the thickness so you can increase the thickness okay by clicking here and click on okay so you can see here okay this is my road layer so similarly i can also see some road also is there i want to digitize this road also very simple again go to the uh, google study and go to add then path okay so now I want to digitize uh, from here okay so give the name so this is the entrance okay like this you can go to style color also is same then ok so these two road I have uh, digitized as a line feature now I want to digitize the polygon the thing is that I know that key this uh, area has two you can say the uh, the different administration the first one is the university second one is the medical college so I want to digitize two uh, you can say the uh, polygon from this uh, portion so first of all I want to digitize as a university campus second one I want to digitize the medical college campus okay you can do again simply go to the Google Earth uh, Google study area click on that add and click on the polygon okay keep it here and uh, I will start digitization from here so the thing is that when you start your digitization uh, in you can say in Google Earth okay so you should know the location or boundary of your the study area so if you don't have any idea about your uh, the bounded area uh, in some in that case uh, you might be face some difficulties okay so this is uh, for your learning only so if you do very accurately you can learn so many things about Google Earth 
so this is all about this i can say the campus of this university so i can stop here okay so i can take this in bring in front and right here koj bihar panchanan Burma university campus okay so now you can change the style and color also so line color so i can change the line color as you can say the green okay and you can also increase the width but i want to change the you can say area color okay i you may take the uh, uh, the uh, the white also but you can change the opacity you can take it 10 percent or 20 percent 10 percent is good by that we can see the you can say the middle portion or that you can say the the entire area if you increase you can see here if you increase the hundred percent we cannot able to say anything but if you uh, decrease this opacity 50 percent then 25 percent or you may take is 10 or 0 percent also i want to take a 0 percent only boundary layer i want to see here then click ok so the campus also digitize now i want to digitize again this medical college campus ok simply i can go to google study area click add click on the polygon ok simply i can start uh, you can say the uh, digitization so i want to click here and you may digitize your study area so this is the only practice purpose so i am taking very fastly okay so you should do very carefully okay and here i want to uh, name as a Oji Bihar Medical College campus. Okay, then click on OK. So now you can see here I have already successfully you can see here point, line, and polygon feature I have already successfully digitized. The thing is that uh, you may uh, it digitize so many things according to your need okay but this is the procedure by you can digitize okay so now if i want to if i want to uh, you can say open this uh, point line polygon as well as the the, uh, the polygon feature in the gis application that means rgs qgis then we need to save this file and we know that using this Google Earth image, this file actually file format of Google Earth image is a KML file. So that KML file should be converted into shape file. So that will also learn in, the, in this tutorial. So now for the you can say the export of this image, or I want to save this point line and polygon feature in my uh, the the PC. So click this Google Study area, click on Write and you can see here save place as simply click here and now you should uh, save your uh, you can say the uh, the uh, your work uh, any folder within this your you can say the pc so i want to create one folder that is the google study or google uh, yes google google map okay and I want to save this within this Google Earth image. Okay, then click on save. So all this point line and polygon already save in my Google Earth image as in my folder. So now I want to open this uh, point line polygon feature in uh, RGS as well as QGIS. So at first I want to I want to open RGS. Okay. So within this RGS uh, we can do we can open that uh, image in two different way one is the directly and that is by the conversion tool so at first i want to uh, i want to give uh, the presentation from the conversion tool that means that uh, the actual the procedure so within this search button okay we can also see here okay catalog search and arc toolbox you can simply click on search button and you can see this search button okay so I, here I want to search 
the uh, the KML Touche file, or you can also find uh, find out that tools from the Arc Toolbox. Okay, simply click here, and I have the Arc Toolbox here. So simply click on this conversion tool and form KML. Click here. So you can see here KML to layer. So simply double click here. So new window will open. So input KML file. Select the folder where you have saved your. Uh, you can say the Google Earth KML file. So go to the yes Google Map. Select this Google Study area. Then open. Then click the output location. Simply I want to select the uh, the same location. That is uh, Google Map. Okay. And simply click on OK. So you can see here some conversion is going on. It will take some. You can say the time. You can say few minutes or few seconds according to your. Uh, laptop the configuration okay so you can see here the point line and polygon feature but it is not in shape file okay so we need to we can say the export this kml file into shape file so this is the uh, the the method by way we can uh, open that uh, you can say google Earth kml file into rjs okay so after that uh, if you want to save uh, this uh, the point line and polygon feature into shape file so each and individual you can say the point line polygon you should export as a shape file so how we can do that please see that click on point right click on it go to data export data okay so within this export data uh, click on this okay so where you want to save this so i want to save within this uh, google map only okay and you can give the name so first one the point so this is the point feature so you can give the uh, the whatever you want to give the name as point i want to give as a name point shape okay then click okay so do you want to add the exported data to the map as a layer i i you should select as a yes so this first is a you can see this is the shape file point shape file that added successfully in your rjs second one the polygon click on here go to data export data click here and i want to give the name is a the road okay click save okay click on oes third one the polygon data export data click here write the, the boundary okay click on save click on ok click on ok so now you can see here point within this layer point line polygon also added so i want to remove this this google study area i want to remove because no need to so i can uh, remove here so you can see so this is the appropriate method but if uh, you can also directly open okay you can also directly open that KML file here also okay so now I want to uh, change the color the composition etc like point go to the properties symbol also you can change and within this symbology okay advanced or you can see the directly here you can change you can take any feature okay anything you can take from here there's so many you can say symbol option is there so you can take anything from here okay anything you can take from here so i want to take and i want to increase the size color also you can change i want to take it's red okay okay apply okay you can see the point and i also want to see the name that means the label simply click here label feature so you can see also the name of the individual but you can uh, increase the point uh, you can say the everything uh, uh, 
the label that means the front size uh, as well as the, uh, the type other things simply click your properties uh, go to level and select here whatever you need time new romance I want to select at least 18 that bold okay so you can see here okay simply click on road go to properties uh, go to symbology click here select this uh, red color you can also increase the length click on ok and go to again uh, the the level select this uh, time new romance or other take it uh, 16 or more than that 16 okay take it bold okay so you can see here the road click on this uh, level feature so you can see here the road name then go to boundary go to properties uh, select on symbology you can also go to categorize okay or by the click on name add all values okay you can also change the color so I want to select uh, this one and I can also change the the outline boundary as well as this color and enter check this one increase and I want to change the color boundary okay then go to the you can make a level select the time new romance select the 16 you may select the bold apply and you can see here okay and now go to here click on this uh, level feature okay so you can see each and everything but you may see here the name or that or you can say the level of individual entities is uh, you can say look like it's very uh, big in size so you can reduce the level of individual very simple all of these are you can set the learning process you can simply reduce the front size I want to take is only 12 simply click on ok simply click here ok go to properties take it uh, you can say 10 ok then point feature also properties and you may take it 10 or 12 okay so you can see each and everything so this is the tutorial about the conversion of the google earth you can say the digitization point and polygon into the shape file in arcgis thank you thank you for watching and keep subscribe my channel for more videos and update thank you